What's up you guys? Today I got you guys five tips you probably didn't know that your GH5 can do or your GH5S. So if you guys have this camera, you might want to stick around. Tip number one, if you guys didn't already know, this autofocus isn't as good as Canon or Sony and now Fuji. So I shoot this thing in full manual. So I control the focus all the time. The worst part about that is you don't wanna go up there, change the manual focus, make sure it's locked in and then start recording. Panasonic has this feature right here, the AF AE lock. That button also lets you lock in focus when you're in manual focus. So get that you can lock in focus and it would never move. So if I'm sitting here like this, I can lock in focus and talk to you guys and know that 100% I'm always in focus. Not only that this button works, you could also track it by touching the screen. Oh yeah, this thing is a touch screen and it's very responsive. So you can move this box around and put it on the subject that you want and it'll automatically lock focus on there. GH5 you guys, GH5, that's tip number one. Sure. Tip number two is the app. And the app is the reason why tip number one is so, so good. Panasonic app is probably the best camera app I have. It's better than Canon, better than Sony. It transfer photo very fast and the video, it doesn't have that much lag. Everything I see is almost in real time. The app is amazing. You can change it to manual, movie record, C1, C2, C3, fast shutter, single shot, timer, you name it. I can continue going ISO, you know. So the camera is way down there and I can't touch the record button. Guess what? I can hit record right here on my desk and I don't even have to get up and go over there. Make sure everything is in focus from the app. And remember tip number one, how I told you that autofocus in manual, remember I told you that? So all you have to do is press the autofocus button, AFAE, put the box right on your face and it'll automatically lock focus every single time. And then all you have to do is just press the record button. And that's how easy it is. Who needs autofocus in that? Your face will 100% be in focus unless you're going like this. Then, then you got a problem. So don't be moving forward like that. Tip number three. The GH5 has the best image stabilizer I've ever used on any camera. And it's way better than Sony. Sometimes I don't even need a slider because this thing just feels so smooth, especially if you do like 60 frames per second or 120, just moving your hand across. Not only that, but it has the capability of doing dual IS as well. So not only that the body has it, if you have a lens that has it as well, the camera will read that the lens has it and it'll use both IS to make this camera even more stabilized even more stabilized. Who needs a gimbal or a slider nowadays? So far, so good. I hope you guys learned something so far, right? None of these things I knew when I first bought my GH5. Got rid of it, rebought it. Tip number four, thanks to Photo Joseph for showing me this. I was looking through videos and then I found this out. I thought I knew everything about my GH5 and I did it. So I'm gonna input his channel in the description below and also you'll see it at the end of this Hit that subscribe button for him. Tell him, thanks. Thanks for showing me that. That is changing the FN button. Sounds simple, it really does. But you know how this camera is very customizable. All this FN button all over the place, F4, F5, and all these other buttons back here. You can change that. And yeah, you might say, hey, Andy, we already know that. You can change it in any camera. But what you didn't know is that you can hold on to any FN button. So let's say you wanna change F5, FN5. This is the one you wanna change. You hold on to it and it will pop up the settings to change it. If you press it, it will activate that function that you put on there. You don't have to go back to the menu ever again. You don't, you don't have to go back in there. Can you picture that? Every single time I change the FN button on like a Sony or a Canon, I have to go back to the menu, find that tab and then change it. There, never again with my GH5. Never again will I have to. Hold on to that button and it'll quickly change any FN button. Thanks, Photo Joseph. Thanks for showing me that. Tip number five, the last but not the least. This isn't in any order. This is probably one of my most used one as well. Actually, I used all of them a lot. 
which makes it an amazing camera. But this one I also use a lot. This one is thanks to Patrick. Patrick, if you're watching this, thank you. You saved my life. This is an amazing feature. And that is 4K live cropping. This only works if you're in 4K. 4K 24 frame per second or 30 frame per second. And it's in the first tab, second page. Last thing on the bottom, 4K live cropping. If you guys aren't using this already, assign that to an FN button and leave it there because you will. You will, once I finish telling you what it is, you're gonna start using it. So what it does is you're allowed to do 40 seconds or 20 seconds. I usually do 20 seconds because 40 seconds is way too long. Anyways, you hit 20 seconds and then you go in there and then it'll show you the left adjust button. So you hit the left and then now you see a square, an orange square. You adjust anything you like. Let's say I wanna start at the top. So you hit the center button to confirm you wanna start at the top. And then you pick your second point. You can go anywhere you want. I'm gonna go to the bottom, a little bit to the right. You hit the second one. Now you see two boxes that are grayed out. And this is where the magic happened. All you have to do is just hit that record button and boom, the camera crops in and now it's 1080. And it's recording your start point to your end point in 20 seconds. And when you're done, you can review your image and you can see the magic, magic I tell you. No more slider ever. You can zoom this in so close, so close into the detail and you got a very, very stabilized shot. All you have to do is just put this thing on a tripod and that's it, it zooms in. And remember tip number one that I showed you that you can manual focus touching it. So you touch the screen wherever you like and then you hit this button, the FN that you assign it to by holding onto it, set it to this live cropping, set your two squares, and then press the record button. And the camera won't change focus because it's in manual focus. So you'll know 100%, you don't have to worry about it, off track and focus somewhere else. And thanks to those two people, Photo Joseph and Patrick for showing me the last two. Thank you so much. This camera wouldn't have been that amazing without those last two tips. This is my five tips for the GH5. If you guys took any of this tip, and you find it useful, hit that like button and consider subscribing. If you guys have any question though, leave it in the comment below and I'll talk to you guys some more there. Other than that, catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.